What is up, guys? I am the Noxious Mongoose, and welcome back to another NHL 17. I guess you call it a scenario video, but I just was just going to call it a challenge because it's a challenge for the teams. Now, it looks like the exact same thing that you looked at last video with the Senators playing, but no, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, it is the Toronto Maple Leafs, but if I do this, we are now the Winnipeg Jets. And today in this episode, we are going to be seeing what if Austin Matthews was picked number two overall and if Patrick Laine was picked number one overall. And if these two meet in the cup, this is going to be incredible. So we're going to see who, what, if they, if, um, my bad, if the Jets were better off with Laine or Matthews and if the Leafs were better off with Matthews or Line. So I'm just gonna show you guys the um the lines that we have in this video. Well, right now. That looked terrible at first. Um I'm gonna keep this on. But there are no, their injuries are off. But as you can see, Matthews is right here. I am gonna put him on the first line just because the first line doesn't get as much playing time. Actually, you know what? Uh, it's actually supposed to be um, how what would happen. So this is what would happen. This is where he'd be put. Um, and now he switched to Toronto. And as you can see, Line A is on the first line. Nathan Horton, we 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 really miss you. Oh, I love Nathan Hor Nathan Horton on the Bruins. He was amazing for us. Oh, I, I wish I we had him back. So um. So I'm going to do the first half of the season as Toronto, just because they did originally get the first overall pick. And I'll do the second half of the season as the Jets. And um, let's see if we can hit, I don't know, uh, we have a couple of subs on the channel because we just started, but let's see if we can get hit three likes this episode. I know we can do it, so go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe, and uh, you can become one with the Noxious the mongoose territory today so plans so like i said in the last couple of episodes um the plans for nhl 16 i mean not 16 18 is that we get um challenges which is like all these simulations and by the way um for nhl 17 i think since six um uh, why do i keep saying 16 um since nhl 18 is coming out very shortly i think we're just gonna stick to simulating because everyone's already done these other things and I think we're going to do stuff that people don't do often. And I don't think this has really been done. I know Eric Carlson wasn't done much. We might do Brent Burns. I don't know about Justin Falk for the um, for the Hurricanes. Um, maybe Ryan Getzloff for the Ducks. Um, Kings, maybe Dowdy or Quick. Um, well, Quick isn't the main goalie in this game because he got hurt. Um... Yeah, and I think we're going to do, like, if Boston lost Bergeron or if Boston lost Bergeron and Marshawn, which they'd probably do absolutely terrible and have to call up, like, I don't know, what's his name, Peter Solarik or something. But let's just say they'd really, really stink. Um, as we take a look over here, it looks like Toronto is having an up and down season. Um, this isn't the ideal season that you would want, but it's okay it's um they have my bad uh the voice crack they have an even amount of wins and losses and now they have more losses more losses and a lot more losses now so anyway those are plans for 18 and i actually said it right this time is that we get challenges out uh three circuit mode a vegas franchise eashl an expansion franchise for ourselves um, what else did I want to do? Oh, what else? I, I can't remember. Um, oh, shoot, I can't remember. Let me, let me think. So, alright, so that that's actually, you know what, we'll talk about this after. So, Toronto probably was better off with having Matthews, and they might have made the better pick, but we'll see how they do the second half of the season, but let's go ahead and see how Winnipeg did, and Winnipeg did absolutely terrible, 9 to nothing loss, 7-2 to two loss, tough time for the Jets, 
Um, we're going to check the point leaders, and if it's Line A and Matthews for both teams, I'm going to be stunned. So we are in almost last place. Playoffs are still in reach, but they're probably not going to be captured. But Matthews is the number one point getter on the team, and he has gone up just the smallest amount. Um, that's pretty good, actually. Um, he is ahead. Uh, actually, is tied with Little and Wheeler for number one in points. And then after that, he's blowing away the rest of the team. And this guy, Dustin Bufflin, who is the most overrated player in the league, I... If you ask me, he's not that great. Um, the most overrated player in the league, probably. I mean, a 91 overall, really, EA? That's way too much for him. Um, let's check how Toronto did, and what's easy is that they're right here, so we don't have to go far. Um, Line A is right up there with Van Riemsdyk, who is the best player on the team. Um, he has 35 and 36, so he is doing better than Austin Matthews at the moment. Um, let's see what they're doing for the league at the moment. Um, Alright, so the entire league, the best player is Patrick Kane. It always simulates him to be the best player in the league. 94 overall. Oh, holy crap. Uh, Tyler Sagan's always up there, along with Jamie, Ben, and Taylor Hall. Look at him go. And these guys are in the 50s for points. My goodness. Johnny Gaudreau up there and 23 year old superstar. I love that kid. Um, can he still grow? Yes, he can. Um, Tarasenko, he's only 93. I thought it was 94. Um, let's, look, let's just scroll down to see where we place for our guys. So let's uh, keep going. We haven't gotten one yet. This is kind of sad. Even Everly's ahead of our guys. Alright, how is McDavid behind Eberly? Come on, McDavid, you're better than that. Um, where is he? Datsuk. I guess he's actually playing. Um, I wish he would come back. That'd be great. God, even Crosby's down here. Holy cow. Where is one of the guys? I haven't seen one. We're about to. It is Ren Reemstike. And where does Matthews place? I mean, um, this would be line A. There he is. He's low down there. Wow. That is sad. All right, let's see where these guys place. So in the Central Division, they are in sixth place, which is not that great. Of course, the Avalanche are in last. Um, these guys are in the Atlantic. Uh, Toronto is in seventh place. And wow, they are doing awful, both of them. Um, let's see how they place in the Eastern Conference. Toronto's in for, uh, 13th, and Winnipeg is in 10th. So Winnipeg actually has a better chance of making playoffs. In the entire league... They are in the... Alright, so they're actually neck and neck. Uh, Toronto is ahead of Winnipeg, but... um, And they've played less games. They've played a lot less games, if you, have, if you look there. Um, yeah, sorry this is a longer video, guys, but um, this is like a very interesting video that I think you guys would really like. I actually have to make a... It's going to be a tough thumbnail to make. I'm going to have to use a collage maker. Alright, so now we're going to use the Jets to simulate the rest of the season. Um... So let's go ahead and scroll over to April, and we are going to simulate to the 10th because a lot of teams have the game on the 9th. So let's see how the rest of the season goes. So a good start after the All-Star break, and they are on a roll right now. Three-game winning streak, four games. Can they make it five? Nope, they lost, and they lose again. That's a shame. Oh, now they're on a losing streak. All right, let's not do that. Um... So, future plans. Um, NHL 18 will definitely be the main focus for the channel. I wanted to get a World War II video out for you guys for Call of Duty, but uh, Aiden gave me the code. I did not have the chance to put it in, and I feel so bad. Um, but Aiden, thank you for thinking of me when you gave that to me. Uh, it meant a lot, bro. Um, I also want to give a shout-out to my, my uh, 
my pal Eximius, uh, he's kind of new on YouTube. I mean, he's been YouTubing forever. His name is his name was Horrific Ninja. You guys might know him, um, but he's he's my cousin. So um, yeah, so we get along pretty well, and he's taught me a lot about YouTube. So um, yeah, go subscribe to his channel if you are currently watching this. He only has 24 subs, I'm pretty sure, but um, I think he's got something there because he's a good he's a good YouTuber and he's got nice equipment. But that is gonna whoa. Uh, that is going to end off the season with an atrocious record of 36, 39, and 7 for the Jets. But we are going to check how well the Toronto Maple Leafs did. And they did pretty well. And if you ask me, that is playoff contending. That is actually very easy to contend. And they did not make it. If Yeah, they didn't make it. Did they make it? No, they did not. All right, so let's just see. That was not me farting, by the way. Um, that was just a chair. Let me. Let's just simulate to the eighth and see who wins the cup. Because it's kind of interesting to see. Um, but yeah, terrible season for the Jets. You are definitely better off having Patrick Line Line on your team, and so and the Maple Leafs are definitely better off having Matthews on the team. But you know what? Matthews grew on the Jets more than he, I think, did when he was on Toronto for the simulations. But whatever. So let's just see. This is the decisor, the decision for who wins the cup. And the Lightning won the cup. All right, so we're going to go ahead and check the stats. We're going to check the playoff tree and how everything went. So um, actually, you know what? We probably don't have to check playoff tree because none of us made it. None of the teams that we were looking at made it. So Patrick Laine with a terrible 66 points did it well for the Maple Leafs this season. Um, right behind him was... Oh, no. No, okay, they're even. Um, so let's go ahead and see how Matthews did. Matthews fell behind but still only had 51 points. What happened to these two? Oh, my. What can I say? Let's see how they did in the league. Kane up top with a whopping 94 points, followed by Hall and Henrique with a 93 and a 91 point season. Great season for those guys. Um, let's see if we find one of our guys, and we're probably going to have to take a little while to. All right, he should be right over here. Here he is. Patrick Line had a much better season than Austin Matthews. Um. So let's see the awards. See if one of the players on the teams got it. Um, player awards. Kane, Kane, Dowdy, Kane, Line. Uh, he did the best. Oh my God! I'm getting someone joining my party. Um, sorry if you guys heard that. Um, that was my friend Tyler. Um, yeah, that was my bad, guys. Uh, I, oh, now I feel bad. I actually have to talk to him. That I, why I did that. Um, so the Vezina went to Lundquist. Um, so, and the Master went to Dowdy. Frank Selk went to Stahl. Kane got the Ted Lindsay, which is dumb. Um, right, that's, oh no, this is the one. Yeah, Bergeron, Bergeron. All over that trophy. And that is it. Um, so I think that is it for the video. So if you like this video, don't forget to scroll down on your device and drop a chicken on that like button. And while you're at it, put one on the subscribe button as well. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.